Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. You have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Hello and welcome to our Gamescom 2016 coverage here on Games Radar Plus. We have just come out of the Tomb Raider 20th Anniversary Edition gameplay hands-on demo. There was yes. a lot to talk about, Dave. <laughs> There's quite a lot with many words. Quite a lot yeah. to talk about. I'm James. This is Dave. Hey. We've just been in there. So Blood Ties yes. is the new one hour of story that you get yes. around Croft Manor. Croft Manor, yeah. There's no combat. It's all very much kind of adventure gamey. Still uses the same third-person interface as Tomb Raider, but it's much more explore, solve puzzles, push crates, because you've always got to push crates. Push crates in the uh, wine cellar. Yeah, um, but there's a lot of really nice kind of quite quite touchingly written backstory stuff there, I think, as well, you know, it's good. Yeah, as you're wandering around, you get little audio clues from, like, yeah. when Lara was a child and playing with her dad, and, yeah. which gives you, ties into, like, the backstory of how Rise of the Tomb Raider happened, how things yeah. in previous games happened, like, you may have noticed her idling animation, they that, said. I love that detail, yeah. She's got that idle animation in the, the last two games where she, she holds the shoulder, shoulder yeah. and it turns out that's because she fell off a library balcony as a kid and banged that one. Which is explained in one yeah. of the audio diaries in when you're wandering yeah. around the manor. There's lots of stuff to find in the manor, lots of references to other games. There's like a bear head on the wall. Yeah, uh, been promised a reference to the butler in the freezer. Been promised a reference <laughs> to that. Also been promised a reference to some of the older games as well. Mm tried to get them to say if the swimming pool was in there or not. Would not confirm or deny. No, uh, so we're going to have to wait and see that. <laughs> yeah. We went round one portion of the house, but not into the west wing, yeah. which is where the... That's where they store the spoilers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think that's where all the secrets <laughs> yeah. are, down in the west wing, is where you're not allowed in there. Yeah. But the point of the blood ties yeah. is to find the deeds to the manor, yes. because Lara's uh, going up against her uncle about who owns it. Yeah, who's, who was the executor of the parents' will and is now trying to use that to be a bit of a dick. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's a whole hour of content in there to go and play. Separate to that, you also get the VR mode, yep. which you can do in the same environment, yes. doing the same things. It's the whole thing, but in first person. But in fully fully oh. VR'd. Yeah. Uh, which was really good. Uh, yes. were different types of doing VR, right? So they've got a comfort level, yeah. which basically just teleports you around. Yeah. Well, you've got, like, with PSVR, you've got free body movement to look around and under and over things, but you just walk to where you want to go, and that works really well. Yeah, that was really good, uh, but you can also do it, you can also turn that off if you want, yeah. and have the full stick yeah. controls. Yeah, full iron stomach mode, if you, yes, if you yeah. think you can handle it. Yeah, that, yeah. it was quite uh, unnerving looking over one of Lara's balconies. Oh, the sense of space, like, when, when you get to the West Wing, where the... Like the, tree, the trees come through and it's caved the ceiling in the sense of space and volume there. It's really good. Yeah, that was great. And also, finally, we did the survival mode, yeah. which was the co-op version of it. They've put, uh, yeah, two-player co-op into two endurance mode now. Yeah, which is uh, what me and Dave played. Yeah. We got quite far. We found we did quite well. the artifact. Uh, but it's all about survival. So think sort of don't starve -y. Yeah, like You have to feed yourself as a team and you have to keep yeah. yourself you're, warm. You're hunting animals to get food then you're finding rags to light fires and you constantly self-sustain with whatever you can forage while also trying to raid tombs at the same time. Yeah, And then you, you just push it as long as you can and eventually cut cash out and pull for an evac yeah. when you think you're going to die. So everything is procedurally generated yep. so it's different every time and the idea basically is to survive. You can play it mm. basically for as long as you want but you're also going to have that risk reward yeah, thing of exactly. going. Yeah, I mean, exactly. The longer you go the more you can to score mm. but the more you score inherently the closer you are to death so exactly yeah uh, so basically it was uh, really good loads yeah. to look forward to so that's our hands-on with Tomb Raider 20th anniversary edition for more videos from Gamescom 2016 keep it here on Games Radar Plus